Very good. This is a touch of tarot and I'll be doing a reading. The topic is what your person realizes about this connection and what you realize about this connection. I'm going to do a top row and a bottom row. Okay. Let's see what's coming up. I'm cut the deck and lay out six cards. Two. Move it over a little. Hope you're all doing well. If you want to book a reading, feel free to check out my website. The link is below. Six, perfect. And so, what your person is realizing about this connection. Okay, so let's just see what's coming up and for you as well. So, Overall energy we take from the bottom, we say we see Ace of Abundance here, and Queen of Swords just happens to be sticking out. Okay, so I got to mention, maybe your person is involved with the Queen of Swords, because why the heck does Queen of Swords have to stick out, unless your person is an air sign? Um, the energy, though, the overall energy is Ace of Abundance. So I kind of feel that your person may be an earth sign, or someone who's very stable, who's a very hard worker, who produces the money, right? Um, but also who's in an environment right now, it's like they're, they're in an environment that is not the best. Cause like you see in the background, there's a lot of dead trees there. So there's a lack of growth behind this person or around this person. And, you know, I feel like this person just wants growth and to have fun. Okay. So Let's go to them first and start right there is what I'm getting. What is this person realizing about this relationship with you? So this person is realizing they actually have a lot more skeletons in their closet. Um, this is bringing this out for them. They are also realizing they have a lot of fear when it comes to this relationship. Okay. Um, this person does realize that they want to be able to have this with you, but there's something that holds them back. And I just feel like this person is really realizing like, damn, I need a psychiatrist almost, you know, like something like that. So what else are they realizing about this relationship that they truly have a lot of feelings for you, but they're not specific. This person wants to explore you and get to know you even more because I feel like this person, it's the fool card, right? So, and it's in, for me, it's in the position of like feelings. Um, so they feel curious. They feel like exploring. They feel like they do want to be with you, but I feel that this person is afraid as well when it comes to you for some reason, maybe they're afraid of losing this abundance also, maybe because this person may be dealing with that Queen of Swords we talked about, right? That can be a very controlling figure, a powerful figure around them, or even like a wife or an ex-wife, okay? So here we go. What is this person realizing when it comes to this relationship? Um, this person is realizing that they do want to take, take care of you. But it will take a certain level of loyalty. And I'm not sure that this person is 100% ready for that yet. I feel like this card is going to tell us a lot. Okay. There's a message here. So there's a situation. This person's confused because they have to choose between you and someone else. It's really clear. The card is literally telling me, like, look at the next card. That's going to tell you what's up here. And the next card is the Two of Swords. But for me, it is, like, definitely... Uh, energy of, you know, having two people to choose from. They could be as different as night and day, or they could actually be, it's weird because I feel like a Gemini energy, but it's like, there could be two people, like they each have the opposite personality, but the same. Isn't that weird? Something weird with that there. So this person thinks about you a lot, but they're in a third party situation. That's probably what's haunting them when it comes to this situation. They want you to know they would love to be um, what this person realizes like, yeah, they want to be the king of pentacles. They want to have the, the pentacles and take care of you. 
Um, but there's a situation over there. And what it is, it is about two people and this person being confused about also who they should be loyal to now. It's like this person's having a whole redo of their thought process or what they believe in. And now they're like, damn, like, what do I do here? Because I thought I was supposed to be loyal to this one situation, but I realize I want to be somewhere else. I'm even scared to go there. You know, when you're scared, it pushes you sometimes more, right? So let's see what else. Wow. This person's going to come to some clarity about this situation that they're in with you and realize like they actually want to be with you. They actually want to have a new beginning with you. Um, they want to choose you. They want to provide for you. You make them very happy. A thousand percent. We have chariot energy here. This person is going to actually for this reading, if you connect with that top row there so far, what I've said um, this person is going to be coming towards you. That is exactly what they plan to do. Let's pull a couple clarifiers here. Yeah, let's pull a couple clarifiers here for this, this magician. The judgment. So there you go. This is about that third party energy. It's something that's over, but it's not over. Okay. So there, the reason that could be is because there could be a child involved. Um, <clears throat> Or there could be finances involved, right? So yeah, I feel like this person also may not have left that other situation fully. Like they're not there, but there's something they're tied to here. Um, this person does want to step up and have a new beginning elsewhere, but they realize like this takes a very heavy amount of loyalty in order to do that, okay? And I feel like this person is still waiting for some sort of an out is what I'm getting. And maybe it has to do with the finances I'm seeing at the bottom. Um, this person, we have the high priestess here. So really what this person is still doing is they're contemplating who they're going to choose here. There's something here. Remember I said like dark and night or day and night or something. Um, Two very different people, but for some reason there is a connection here. And I think that this, this is just going to push this person to the edge where they come to this realization. The, the push to the edge, it's almost like they get pushed to get so drunk or they get pushed to like, they do something and then they're like, damn, I realize like, no, I got to go over there. I got to be over there with my person. Okay, chariot. What do we have here? we have the page of cups. So that's an energy of someone coming back, taking the action to be with their person, having a realization, the sun and the ace of swords. Okay. So let's see the bottom energy here for you. I'm guessing this is for my viewers. So what are you realizing in this relationship now? Okay. You have the high priestess, first of all, first message I'm getting, you're realizing whether you want to call it a twin flame or like whatever you want to label it, it is harder than it looks. It takes more work than it looks. That's what you're realizing. It takes more work than it looks. It takes patience, time, knowledge, and you're learning. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. So you have decisions coming up here. I feel like you are learning and probably in the, the knowledge you've gained, you've come to this time where you're like, well, I don't really have to be here. Um, do I want to be here? You know, I could travel, I could do this and I could do that. I think you're just coming to this energy where you're thinking now, because you have become so wise. You have put in a lot of practice and patience into this relationship, into the situationship. Um, and you know, there's been a lot of falseness. There's been a lot of new beginnings. It's okay. You've learned from them all, but you are feeling a bit like you don't need to be here and you don't need to be here. It's not about needing to be here, but I feel like some of you are really contemplating just exploring because things are getting old in this energy. Now they're getting stagnant for some of you. You're happy. You're good. But I mean, you're noticing like, I don't know, the dust on the wall or something. I don't know. It's just not, um, 
I need you need something fresh is what I'm getting. You want fresh is what I'm getting here. So yeah, you do feel like you've been hanging on for too long. Nine of Wands. This is how you're feeling about the relationship. What you're realizing as well. Sorry, I need to stick to that. What you're realizing. Oh boy. Well, when we word it like that, when we word it like that, Divine Feminine is realizing. Look at it. You become very wise over this, this however many years for some of you. Eight years is what I get. But it, however long it's been. You know, when you learn to plant, when you learn to garden, you go through a lot of different plants, right? So you and this person, I feel, have had numerous attempts to try to work this out. And I feel like you're really good in a sense. Because this is a good spot to be where you're like, I can leave or I can stay. But you're feeling, don't feel like you've let yourself down. Do not, um, I don't think this is a selfish person. I think this is someone who got themselves caught up in another situation and they are having a really hard time leaving. From all the readings I do, it looks like there's so many different reasons. But it all kind of stems down to the fact that for many of them, it's almost like they've built such a foundation elsewhere. It's like, oh my gosh, I got to leave. It's not about the person that they're with or anything like that. It's like what they've built. Because I see the divine feminine here is realizing in this relationship you've hung on too long. At times you, you're fooled. This is what you're real. You think you're realizing or you think, I don't know, you're realizing I don't feel like this in my situation. And I know a lot of other people that don't feel like this, but there's divine feminines here that are realizing that they are very wise and they, they can go wherever they want. That they have a lot of options. Okay. It says delusion, but there's a lot of options to explore and you're fooling yourself. If you don't think you have them, of course you do. You feel like you've hung on to this situation like it's a religion, like you're married to this person and you're not married to them. Or you're realizing that. You're even realizing, I don't know, at further expect, ex inspection, that, you know, this person isn't making or hasn't made a choice. Maybe they told you they're they're doing something and I think you're realizing, well, they haven't. You know, this person's a little bit in denial. So what it shows here, Eight of Cups, you are um, realizing you want to walk away or you're realizing Personally, you may feel you have to walk away in order to get what you want. Okay, so you may feel like, hey, you know what? I'm just going to make the choice for him and or her. And maybe they'll come back. Maybe they'll realize then once I leave. Maybe they'll realize that, right? Um, I'm sorry, but the bottom row is not happy. Not at all. So let's clarify a little here what you're realizing. Yeah. So you have the magician and you know, this is what this person is coming about up as some regrets, right? And some fear. The thing is you feel like this person is maybe tricking you. This is the better magician out of the two of them. I'll tell you that because this person wants to speak to you, by the way, they want to come into you, but I think they're actually afraid. And what are they afraid of? Look what's at the bottom of the deck here. What I'm seeing the 10 of pentacles and the, the um, devil, right? You also feel like you need to take your power back and make a decision you're realizing this and yeah i mean for whoever this reading is for i do feel that you <clears throat> i'm not gonna get it i see it's the page of cups but i feel it's i wasn't meant to get it and i'm not going to if it drops on the floor it's out 
Um, there's something there where you're realizing, you know, yeah. So what I'm saying is for those of you that relate to this and you like, you know, you feel you have to take your power back. Yeah, you do. You're right. Yeah. So seven of pentacles, you do have options, you know, and you don't want to be the option anymore. There's something here for people watching this. If you relate to this, it is time for you to actually face the truth about something. And I'm not saying that this person isn't coming in. But maybe it's that you do have to take some power back, okay? Maybe you do have to stop hanging on to this person for now. Especially if they're not moving. I see this person wants to move, but look at it. It looks like this person is not moving. Here they're sitting. Here with the new beginning that they do want, they're standing, but they're not leaving. Remember I said that. <clears throat> they're sitting they're hanging on to something that's over and they're even praying like, please let this be over. Please. Let, no, no. Sorry. To get what you want, you got to take some actions. You know, you're realizing you've hung on to this. You've really waited. You've really, you've probably prayed to be like, come on, get this over with. Let this happen gone through a lot here. So yeah, you're looking, you totally, you know about the third party, the other person, the option, the other option here. Um, you may be watching it. You know, this person is hangman and the three of cups. You know, this person is stuck in another situation. Okay. So sure. Maybe it's another person, but I think it's more than just another person. There's a few people here, right? And I don't think it means like just a sexual relationship. No, I think like this person is stuck in a situation, like maybe a family or something. You know, a partnership. So you you realize, you know, it might be time for you to go on a new quest. It's a very weird um, five of wands. I'm... I'm not feeling it. I'm feeling like you don't have the energy to fight anymore. You don't have the energy. And it's interesting because at the bottom of the deck, we have the fool card and the death card, like just ready to, to also what I'm getting is you're tired of chasing something that hurts you. You've been hurt. You want love. So final message energy. Queen of Wands, you definitely want love. We have the Empress here, um, and we have the Nine of Pentacles. You are ready to, to go have a new beginning, to nurture yourself, to give to yourself. I really kind of do feel that you may think if, I don't know if I said this already. I think I did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you walk away, this person's going to come back and, and give you a new beginning. And, you know, I'm just going to leave those two cards out and ask, is that possible? Is that possible? Because I kind of do, well, I definitely see you believing in it. Is it possible? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Because it is a little possible here. Look at that. The 10 of pentacles are now in the reverse. That is the destruction, the destruction, yeah, we can say destruction of a partnership of a, of a, like it really may happen and look at, oh, wow, we have him walking away and then look at, I'll grab two there, but that's the king of wands. So maybe that's why I'm getting the vibe, like, yeah, if this, if this resonates with you and you actually feel like this, you do got to walk away because like. You can't stay here feeling that you're delusional when you know you have options or the power and the wisdom. You know? So, yeah, walk away. Let's get a couple, a card for your person and a card for you. Okay. Nope, not going to take it. I want a good shuffle card for you first, the viewer. Pay attention. Notice repetitious signs in your inner, <laughs> notice, oh my gosh, guys, sorry, I need to take some zinc. Notice repetitious signs and your inner guidance. 
as this can yield valuable information. I think you've been waiting also possibly. Um, it does say don't rush into, don't rush just now in the bottom, but I think it's at the bottom for a reason because you've been waiting and not rushing and not leaving. And pay attention. Maybe you're getting the sign to go. Maybe you're getting the sign there's something else to follow. It doesn't have to be a person. Maybe you're getting signs like there's a job you should do or a class you should take, you know? So for your person, okay, person, top row. Okay, there's a lot of come. I did not see that. Okay, here we go. Make a decision. Holy smoly. And I'm noticing this card up there. I'll tell you in a second. So this person, it's time for them to make a freaking decision. Feeling stuck or indecisive, listen to your intuition and make a decision. Gosh, slurring my words. It's, I'm tired and I need my zinc. Um, this is the card I'm noticing. It's ready, set, go. And like that's what this person needs to do. So... That's the reading, guys. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know where you're from. Because I just love to... Oh, wait, wait, wait. If you're here. If you're here. 21, 21, 22. Yay. I love to know where you're from. But I got these new cards today. First of all, oh my gosh, I got some other new cards. Let me pull. Let me pull. Do I have them here? Are they in my bedroom? Because I was like just admiring these cards. I did the astrological signs with them. Okay, no, we're going to, we're going to pull one for your person and you of these two. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited. So for you, let's see what you get energy wise. Wow. Okay. I'm going to say them all. You got white, lighten up. You got lemon, access, innovative thinking. Amazing. You got cherry, live an extraordinary life. Beautiful. And you got let love in. And you got Awaken Your Passions, Burgundy and Pink there. Um, this is about you getting out of this funk. And actually, when it says innovative thinking, I do think you're getting signs to do something else. I don't think it has to do with a relationship either. That's not what life's about. It's about living an extraordinary life and doing something you love, okay? Um I don't know. Also letting love in. I don't know. I felt like I was going to get a message there and I, I lost it. But awaken your passions. Go for something you love. Like when you follow your dreams, you would be surprised what comes to you. The higher you place yourself, the higher you get. I don't know if you understand, but it's true. So especially if you're planning to leave this situation, like this person will come back. You already, you're right. Um, but when, of course, they'll come back because you're going to be on this higher level because you're going to do all these things. Okay, let's do your person. Look it, we gotta, we gotta keep it going. <laughs> so interesting. Oh my gosh, you have coral, and orange, um, nurture. Okay, no, let me just get them first. Let me just take out this. Okay, wow. Do we need one more? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. To match here. Wow. Okay. This is beautiful totally different vibe here so your person it's about allowing flow and synchronicities into their life it's about allowing this end you know and releasing nurturing themselves it's about focusing on themselves and also getting that confidence to leave that situation or make that decision right um with the mauve enjoy clear hearing this is actually be actually about paying attention to the signs they're getting you know, you guys are both getting signs here. Connect to the divine is the pearl energy. And I feel like the signs your person is getting are from the divine. And it's about going for what tastes good. Like, no, <laughs> that's my opinion. <clears throat> it's about going for what you love, like what's smooth and yummy. And you know what I mean? It says nourish your body and soul. What nourishes your body and soul, okay? That's what is wanted here. So let's pull... Um, an emotion for you. Let's see what comes out here. Maybe hopefully a future emotion. Lots of good ones. Well, I mean, you can't decide. 
So, wow, this was actually the, I just read it. It was at the bottom. You can try and guess that. If you want, you can pause it. But I think we all know what it is. It's music to my ears. Um, this is, yeah, so nice. You're going to have something good coming in. Uh, you both need to pay attention and listen. Um, I do really believe that. There's, I think there's signs all around for both of you. But some of you, oh, but no, look at this. Look what's at the bottom. And I felt like it was for you, but we did their card first. It said music for manifestation. I didn't bring it up, but you got music to my ears. So this talks about to manifest rapidly. Think of your desires while, while you chant, him, sing, or play music. And watch your thoughts. Okay, for your person, emotion. Supposed to be emotions. <laughs> music to my ears. Ooh, what's this about? Queen B. But you know what that's about? It's time to freaking choose a queen. Like, you know? Well, it's time to choose the one they know is the queen. It's time to make a choice. They have their queen right there. Interesting. And that's your yellow energy here. And you see this bee is attracted to the, it's like honey, right? So there you go. Take a rest, relax. Let me know what you thought of the emoji cards. Who else has these? No one. <laughs> I love it. Bye for now. Thank you so much. By the way, if you want, um, join Patreon. I put ratings up there all the time, including the Monday love message, because it wouldn't let me download it for YouTube. Bye for now.